Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So it is Planners Anonymous Day here on my channel. This arrived on my doorstep this afternoon and I am so, so excited because there have been a bit of a makeover to the Planners Anonymous kits and we have a bunch of new things to be able to have a look at as well as a redesigned version of the Lux inserts to fit in your planner. So let's not wait anymore. Let's jump straight into this gorgeous box. So there have been some changes to the box this month, so I'm very excited to have a look at some of the new items. So as we go along, I'll tell you what we've, what's changed and what we've got that we didn't used to have, just in case you are new. So we'll start off with just the standard kit. I'm just going to take everything out of the bag, it's just a bit easier that way. So we'll start off with the beautiful big die cut, the same way we always do, she's so pretty. And it says flowers, aren't they just gorgeous? Doesn't it just help to brighten up your day when there are flowers around? I love walking barefoot through the garden looking at all of the wonderful colours. Nature really is the most amazing designer, don't you think? Love always, Amelia. Then it says down the bottom, I have to admit we've loved putting together this floral kit for you, especially with all the new additions to the box. It's because of your support that we've been able to try something new like foiling our washi, acetate, vellum and our new traveller's notebooks. Thank you for helping us to grow and to share our passion with you. So that's from Sammy and the Planners Anonymous team. So that's Amelia, she's our girl for the month. And we're gonna start, we'll start with the pen, which is this gorgeous purple. So you've got the gold hardware still, gorgeous purple, and then it's got, is that purple or pink? Purple. Uh, and then it's got red, green, pink, and purple little gems all through there, and they are just beautiful. You guys know I love the Planners Anonymous pens, I don't need to go onto that. So then we'll go with the die cuts. I'm gonna move that off to the side a little bit. So we'll put the die cuts out next. So as always, we've got the backing cardboard, which is also really useful. If you're someone that likes to use every little bit of your kit, these are really great. So we've got Beauty Blooms from Within, Grow Free Wildflower, Dream Plan Bloom, Tend to Your Garden of Dreams, you will grow beautifully and be the flower in a field of grass. I really love the colours here. Like I was expecting all pinks and purples, but I love that green. I think that really brings in a colour that I wasn't expecting. So really love that. So that is the quote card. So we'll just put those off to the side. So the next thing we've got here are our little tabs. So this is something that we've retained. There was a little bit of talk that these might change, but thankfully at the moment they've stayed the same. So we have six of these, two, three, four, five, six, yep. So we've got two purples, two greens, a pink and a blue. I'm gonna go with blue. Uh, you guys know I love these and I love them not because, I don't know, I know I don't always use them, which is a big difference, I know, but I love the way that you can actually use these for different things. You don't have to use them for tabs, but if you are someone that does like using tabs, especially if you wanna see what I've got going on at the end, um, there is something that we can use these for, which is going to be really exciting. So we'll move on to the die cuts. So I've got all of these little beauties in here. What have we got? Oh. Is it bad that I'm always more in love with the backing cardboard than I am with the die cuts? That's not good. So we've got Amelia there with her gorgeous, and she has eyes. So this is something that has been noted. The die cut girl always has eyes, the big one doesn't. So it's just a little bit of a difference between the two. And I've noticed on Facebook, some people say they like the eyes, some people say, say they don't. I really don't have a preference. I think they look good either way. We've got another girl here with a different kind of flowers and a big kind of flowery jacket. You are so loved. Got a little pot there. Got a heel with some flowers coming out of it. You've got a basket with some flowers coming out of it. You have two gorgeous butterflies. Got a bit of a bottom border. We've got a banner. Got a couple of bows, which are gorgeous. We've got a bike and a scooter. So you have two ways of getting around in this kit. You have a motorized and a non-motorized. I love those colors. Those flowers are amazing. And I was scared that I was gonna think this was too floral. I don't know if I'm the biggest floral person ever, but there's something about this that I'm just absolutely in love with right now, and I don't know what it is, but it's gorgeous. So those are the beautiful die cuts. We'll put them off to the side. So we'll do the washi, which like I said when I was reading at the back of that die cut, have had a little bit of an upgrade. And I'm very excited to have a look at these in the flesh because I've heard different things. 
So they've all got foil on them now, which is something that we've never had with Planners Anonymous before. So I'm just gonna stick these out on just a piece of white paper. So you can see there that the outline of the flowers and the butterflies have this beautiful gold foil. I really, I'm just gonna hold off making my, <laughs> making my feelings felt. Hold on, I'm doing, gonna do it in a sec. Uh, so then we've got a skinny one that's kind of got the watercolor feature with the bows. And again, that has the beautiful gold. And then you've got your wide washi. And again, it has all the foiling in it, sort of around the outside. Now, this is where opinions have been divided. Some people really love the foiling, some people really don't. I'm going, I don't love it. It's not a love, but I think they are beautiful. I think what I would have liked to see is maybe two of them with the foil and one of them without the foil. But like I said, they are beautiful and I love them just the same as I would have, but I think maybe having not all of them foiled would have been the better way to go. But I do love those, I think they're gorgeous. And while we've got this piece of paper out, we'll do our um, sequins. <laughs> and it's so full, it's going everywhere. So when we put this out, we've got oh, gold on the top there. But then, oh wow. So we've got in here, just to sort of go through what we've got, we've got some gold, little gold ones. We've got blue and pink flowers. We've got gold butterflies. And then we've also got little bits of pink and purple and blue. And that is just so, so, so gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Oh, shaker coming up. No, I can't keep making more shakers, I have to stop. I think I've made a shaker every month for the last three or four. Just let me know if you're getting bored with my shakers because I'll stop doing them if people don't want to see them anymore. They are all of the sequins. They're so pretty. Then we've got our, we'll do our stamp next. So this is something that's missing. So if you're someone that has um, got the Planners Anonymous kit for a, a long time, you know that they have a little stamp pad. The stamp pad is one of the things, I think is the only thing, um, that has actually been taken out of the kit and I'm really behind this decision. The stamp pads were good, but they weren't great. And because they weren't great, I didn't tend to use them. Um, but the stamps have always been fantastic. So I really love the fact that we've got rid of that and what we've added in, what you're gonna see in a minute is so much better. So we've got a banner at the top here, we've got some butterflies, some flowers, we've got Amelia, we've got some little leaves as well, a bow and then dream plan and bloom. And we've got the gorgeous little scooter there as well. Then we've got our regular sticker packs. This is the one that comes in the standard kit. And we have, I think we have five sheets. I think we have five sheets. Might be four sheets. Four sheets in the standard kit. So first one here, we've got a bunch of little bows at the top. We've got the bike with the flowers. We've got this gorgeous sort of to-do list, a couple more banners, and then beauty blooms from within. Got some more bows here, some more flowers, some more butterflies, and a beautiful box. And we've got our foldable TN planner, which I hope everyone has seen. If you haven't seen how to fold this sticker up, let me know and I'll do a little um, Instagram video of how to do that. But Sammy has done it on her channel. Um, but then you've also got your days of the week down the side. And then this one's your sort of more functional stickers. So we've got a little title bubble there, a couple of planners, your happy mail, and you've got your she's here which I'm gonna put in my planner as soon as this video is over. Um, we've also got, and this is a change, instead of having these cut as squares, well, these are for your tabs, instead of having them cut as squared, we've actually fussy cut them this time. We. Sammy's actually fussy cut them this time. So rather than having them as a square, you've actually just got the word on its own, which I think is an absolutely fantastic upgrade and very, very, very excited to maybe play with that. So then we'll move on to the papers. This is where you're gonna see another one of the additions, which I'm really excited about. So as you guys know, I love the Planners and Lums papers anyway, but we have a couple of extra things. So the first thing, we've got our regular ones. So you've got the flowers, we've got this sort of gingham one with the watercolor, I think that's really pretty. We've got the bows and then the watercolor streaks. Oh. We've got the most gorgeous butterfly I think I've ever seen. And then you've got the flowers on the back. And then this is what I'm so excited about. I'm over the moon about this. So you guys know I love vellum and I love playing with acetate. So for the first time ever, 
Planners Anonymous have given us vellum and acetate. Let's have a look at this. So this is, I'm just going to move the paper out of the way so we can get a really good look at this. Wow. So just grab just a piece of white paper just so you guys can see how beautiful this is. Oh my goodness. That is so amazing. And the only thing I'm scared of is it's only one bit. So oh no, I don't want to use it. I'm going to get paper cutters gilded. I can feel it coming. But I love that it's got this bit down the side. So if you did want to just do a little strip, you could. You've got this gorgeous bit here, but then you've got just a whole big page. Oh, there's so much you could do with something like that. And then the acetate. Oh my goodness, I'm swapping that over because that's black. Um, that is just magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. It's got this gorgeous, the same gold that's on the, the washi tape. But something I noticed just before, if you're not someone that likes gold, perhaps if you're one of the people that haven't fallen so in love with this beautiful gold color, here's something you can do. Because if you flip it over, it's silver on the other side. So if you're a silver person, which I'll admit I'm much more of a silver person than a gold person, that silver on the other side is just as beautiful as the gold on the other. Oh, oh I can't wait for the bell. No, I want next month already. I want to play. So that is everything you get in the standard kit. Like I said, we've lost the stamp pad, but we have gained the vellum, the acetate, and the foil on the washi, which I'm quite happy about. I think that's the best upgrade ever. So while we're talking about upgrades, this is the extra sticker kit, or the, not the bonus sticker kit, the extra sticker kit um, that I pay a little bit extra to get. You can add this to your kit at any time. So if you are a, a regular subscriber already and you've already got the box and you want to add this, it's really easy to do. Just jump on the website and it's very, very simple. So the first page there has got Amelia with all these gorgeous flowers and butterflies around the side with in bloom at the top. Then we've got a bunch of girls front and back, some of them, which is nice. And then you've got some more flowers in the buckets and your scooter again. Got some more singular flowers and some singular leaves and then another couple of round ones. Wow, you've got these gorgeous sort of border type ones. So if you're someone that especially works with boxes in their planners, if you've got like a happy planner or an Erin Condren, these are going to be beautiful to stick at the top and the bottom. Those are gorgeous. Then we've got some of those lists and those bows back again. I love those lists. They're going to get a one heck of a workout. I'm so excited. Oh! I seriously didn't think I would love this kit this much. It's blowing my mind how beautiful it is. So we've got a bunch of quotes here. So you've got tend to the garden of your dreams. You will grow beautifully. Ground your soul and lift your spirit. Oh, I like that one. We've got some more decorative boxes. So you've got your double box and your single boxes with just a couple of flowers. You've got your to-do lists in your square shape. So you've got some with the flowers and you've got some with the bows. So you've got two of those. Then we've got our beautiful days of the week one. So you're going to get three weeks, three full weeks worth of stickers if you get the extra sticky kit because you've got the other one in the standard kit. And then you have one, two, three, four of the colored boxes and two of them are different. So the green and the purple have yours just plain old colored um, habit tracker or circle one. And then two of them, the pink and the purple have, pink and the blue, sorry, have this more flowery one. And then the last one, which is actually a bonus, not sort of bonus, we got one more sticker in this extra kit this month. And I just know that because I stalked the Planners Anonymous Facebook page. Uh, we've got our little girls here as well. So we've got all of the gorgeous ones and they're wearing the same clothes as the actual girls from the kit, which is something I don't think Sammy's done before, but that is absolutely gorgeous. So that is the extra sticker kit. But the really exciting thing, I think anyway, is there's actually going to be a brand new set of Lux inserts. So if you are someone that gets the kit on a regular basis and knows about the Lux inserts, Sammy's always made the Lux inserts for your Traveler's Notebook, which the Traveler's Notebooks are fantastic and I love them. But I'm a ring girl and I don't really know how to use a Traveler's Notebook. So Sammy has actually designed the Lux inserts to be printed out and put in your ring planner. So I've just gone ahead and done that for September and put them in one of my ring binders. Yes, I have lots of empty ones, but I thought I'd give you a quick walk through um, what the Lux inserts look like um, when you print them out. So, like I said, these ones are for an A5 ring planner. You can use any kind of planner you like as long as it's A5. And this one's the dated one, but you can also get the undated one if you wanted to. So that's your first page with the gorgeous butterfly. 
open it up and you've got this memory kind of page so if you wanted to put like a really pretty picture of like your dog or your kids or whatever and then you've got some room down the side here for quotes and stickers and things and then you open it up a bit further and you've got your monthly view so all set out for you already with the dates the date yeah the dates and then we've got our inspiration board for the month which you can stick whatever you like in there you could put pictures you could put quotes you could put stickers you've got your goals for the month and the other cool thing is even these ones that are pre-decorated as, as such, there's still room here to be able to add stickers and die cuts and washi tape if you want to. So then you move into your actual sort of planner pages. So these are all horizontal. They've all got the same amount of room per day, which for me is one of my biggest bugbears with some planner inserts that you don't get the same amount of room on Saturday and Sunday as you do on every other day. But you've also got a spare sort of to-do box and then another big goals box or whatever. And you've got some more down the side here as well. So there's plenty of room in here. Like I said, they're all undated. They're all dated, but you can get the undated ones if you want. Then in the middle of it, you've got this gorgeous big spread with the be the flower in a field of grass. I love that. So pretty. And you move back into your weekly sort of spreads. You've got your tracker pages. So if you're someone that likes to habit track, you can just write in what the habit is and then just colour across the day as you go along. You've got your to-do list. So you you can break these down to weekly to-dos if you want, monthly to-dos, whatever you wanted to do. Haha, <laughs> get it. And then you've got these sort of grid pages at the back. So really giving you the option to be more creative if you want to. You can turn these into memory pages, you can turn them into lists, you can turn them into whatever the heck you like. And you've got that space to be able to do it. And then you've got another page at the back as well, but it's got a bit more decoration. So it's got beautiful, and it's got that beautiful girl on there as well. And then at the back, you've got your Planners Anonymous logo on the butterfly. So I've printed those on 110 GSM paper. I've just printed them on Ryan's printer, which is a bigger, fancier printer, as you guys know. Um, but just on A5, which is A4 paper that we've cut in half. And I just got it from Officeworks. So I'll link the actual kind of paper down below. It does give it a really nice matte finish. I hate gloss finishes on most things. Um, so I really love the matte that comes with using this paper. So it's absolutely gorgeous. But these are going to be available on Peony's Pocket from now on. Um, and like I said, you can get them in undated and dated, and it's just an extra $8. If that's something you want to do and spend the extra 8 bucks to get the Lux inserts, that's up to you. But there are always the free ones that come with your subscription as well, which look just as nice when printed out on paper and punched, just like these ones do. So that is it for the In Bloom kit for this month. I'm so, so in love with this. I can't wait. I didn't think I would love this as much as I do. I was really worried that it was going to feel a bit too girly for me, maybe a little bit too flowery, maybe a little bit too bowy, but I don't know. There's something about it that I'm just completely in love with and I can't wait to use it. So I will be using this in my planner, not next week, maybe the week after. It gives me some time to actually become creative with it. Uh, so let me know if you have any cool ideas of what you think I could make with it or how I could use it. Let me know too if you would like to see me actually use the Lux inserts. I want to use them. This is where I'm having an issue and having thoughts. I want to use them, but I also really love decorating. And obviously being in these would be different to being in my regular ones. And so it would be a little harder to do. So that's something that's up to you guys a little bit. If you'd like to see me decorate both, we could probably do that, but that's a bit harder for me. But that's an open-ended question. So you can leave your responses down below or on any of my social medias and we can sort of work out maybe a way that would work. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and be subscribed to my channel so you don't miss how I use this in my planner. I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic, fantastic rest of your day and I will see you again in my next video. Sending you lots of huggles. Bye.